Hey, Chef Billy Parisi here from BillyParisi.com, and we are keeping on with the clean eating, continuing with this amazing Green Goddess salad and Green Goddess dressing. We're doing it in partnership with Bob's Red Mill. You guys, I can't stress enough about how great I felt the last few weeks while doing a sort of clean eating detox. I'm loving it, everything tastes great. I hope to continue on as long as I can with still doing some other awesome recipes that you're used to seeing from me. But I'm gonna continue with this green goddess salad. It is super good. You're going to absolutely love it. And a really important piece to remember to this recipe is you don't have to use all of the ingredients that I'm going to put into the salad. I'm gonna start with a base and then add on some other things that are in season. My wife loves tons of vegetables in her salad, so we're gonna pile it on. First, we're going to make an amazing green goddess salad dressing. Start by adding some yogurt to a blender. Next, we're gonna pour in some milk, equal parts fresh basil, parsley, and green onions. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of fresh tarragon, some garlic cloves, honey for a tad bit of sweetness, some fresh lemon juice, a bit of white wine vinegar, and of course, some sea salt and fresh cracked black pepper. What we wanna do at this point is simply blend it until it is nice and smooth. I'm telling you, you're gonna love this dressing. Once it is to a nice smooth consistency, go ahead and set it in the refrigerator and keep it cool until it's time to serve it. Now what we wanna do is cook some farro. So go back over to your countertop, I'm going to be using Bob's Red Mill farro. This is such an amazing grain. It's kind of like a cross in between brown rice and barley. Nice and chewy, little nutty flavor. You will love it in this recipe. We need to rinse it, so go ahead and add some to a colander. Go right over to the sink. We're gonna spray it off just to clean it up a little bit. Now, add it to a pot. Next, add in some water. And what we wanna do at this point is simply bring it to a boil. Once it is to a boil, we're gonna turn the heat down, put the lid on, and let it simmer for 30 minutes. You guys, this is great timing because we do have some prep that we can knock out while our farro is cooking. The first thing we're gonna do is sort of medium boil our eggs. The yolk's gonna be a tad bit soft, more than a hard boiled egg. So what we wanna do is add a pot of water to the cooktop, bring it to a boil, add in our eggs, and boil it for three minutes. Next, turn the heat off, put a lid on it, and let it sit for three more minutes. And then to sort of finish it off, what I like to do is strain the water off, add a little cold water to it, and then add a bunch of ice cubes to it. Let it completely cool until it's ready to serve. While the eggs are cooling, let's go back over to the countertop. I have a beautiful rotisserie chicken. You can buy these from a grocery store or of course, roasted up at home. I'm simply going to remove the outside skin and then I'm just sort of going to take chunks out of it and break it up into big chunks. I think it's going to be really cool to serve it this way. No need to cut it up. Once it is completely broken down, go ahead and set it on a plate, set it to the side. At this point, our farro is finished. What we want to do is take it off the burner, go over to the sink, drain it right into a colander. Now, I like to chill it and serve it nice and cool. So go ahead and throw it in the refrigerator. This is great timing because there are a few more things to prep up. Go over to your cutting board, and I've got some romaine lettuce that I wanna add in addition to the other greens. And let's talk for just one second. You know when you like slice up lettuce and it turns brown the next day? A really cool old trick that I learned is to tear the lettuce off the head because you're sort of breaking it right at that vein that is very natural throughout the romaine lettuce leaves. So think about tearing it. It'll last a little bit longer, stay fresher, less brown. This is a good thing. So go ahead and tear the lettuce down, set it to the side, and then I've got a few other things to prep up, and then it's time to plate this beautiful salad up. You guys, like I said earlier, it's incredibly important to remember, you don't have to add in all the ingredients that I'm going to put onto the salad. I know it's quite a bit. My wife loves an assortment of vegetables, so do I, so that's why I'm loading it up, but please don't feel obligated. Think of the base of this salad as your greens, your chicken, your Bob's Red Mill farro, and of course, the green goddess salad dressing. From there, it's completely fair game. But I'm gonna show you how I plate up my salad. 
go ahead and add some field greens and the torn romaine lettuce to an extremely large bowl. Next, we're gonna add on that rotisserie chicken that we broke up. Gonna hit it with some thinly sliced red onions, some edamame, sliced cucumbers, thinly sliced radishes, those medium boiled eggs that we hooked up and chilled. We're gonna add on some pea tendrils, some bacon that we chopped up, some sliced avocado, that cooked Bob's Red Mill Farro, and of course, I always like to finish off my salads with some microgreens. Boom, it's done. Let's for sure try this out. You guys, this salad is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving this clean eating, that wonderful nutty flavor that the farro brings in, and dude, that green goddess dressing is to die for. Let's not wait any longer, let's try a little bit out. Pea tendril hanging out my mouth. <laughs> Mm, so good. That dressing, like I said, you guys, is awesome. I've only got one more video left in this sort of detox series. Come back next week, see what I'm going to whip up. I'm going to keep eating some. We'll see y'all later. Mm.